Well, all right, let's see here. So I just purchased this iCade Core um, uh, game stick, arcade stick, geez. And it's Bluetooth, however. I thought, well, maybe it'll work with Windows 10 or Android, and it does not. It just works with the iPad. Did a lot of searching on the internet, couldn't find any solution um, as far as getting it to sync through the Bluetooth. So, here's the box, by the way. I got this off of Amazon. There's the handle, piece of the handle there, but I picked it up off of Amazon used for like $29, somewhere in there. I mean, it looks great. There's not a scratch on it. Looks really good. Um, so what I decided, looking on the internet and all YouTube watching, that I think what I'm going to do is decided that I would take it apart and convert it to USB. And so I ordered the part that it seems I need. I, this is a first time for me, so I could end up, you know, who knows what's going to happen. But there's the USB cable. And these little wires. And then <clears throat> there's this board here. I don't have my tripod set up here. Let's see here. Come on. See if I can open this with one hand. That's my left now. Let's see. Just go and open this. How about we just set this down real quick? Yeah, that's awesome. There we go. You got to view the table now. Pull this out. And where is my stinking tripod? That's what we need. Let's get that thing real quick. Back here. There we go. Dog. Here you go. All right, so throw that on there real quick. So this um, this board here it looks like This is the board, and let's see if we get a better turn my torch thing off. So, um, anyhow, this with all of these wires, and somehow I'll be plugging in the wires from each of these into here. I'm hoping that those ends. And clip on to whatever's in there. I have not opened this up yet. So that's what I'm hoping to do. And I picked this board up off of Amazon for, I forget what they call this, a USB joystick PCB board or something. Like I say, I'm all new to this, so what the heck. Picked it up for about $13. So, anyhow, I will, I'm going to tear this apart, so I'm going to stop the video and we'll come back. All right, so, <clears throat> I had a little issue. I got all of, I've got the screws out. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, and then these two side screws were actually these tiny little torque screws and on top of that they have a little nub in the middle of the tort hole so i watched a video on youtube and some guy said yeah it's a torque screw like a t8 size or t9 or whatever i was like oh but he's like but it takes one of those little ones with the that has a hole in the center you know and i don't have those 
I was really, he used a Dremel to get them out. I was really considering just, you know, well, maybe I'm just going to go to town with a couple little tiny screwdrivers. But I remembered, I thought, you know, I have this little tool with a green head on it that might, seems like it was a little torque wrench. So I went down in my, one of my little toolboxes with my, you know, that I used to use to fix computers and things. And I found that, and it's a little size... T8. It doesn't have the little hole in the center there, but the little bump that's inside the little torque socket there must have set recessed enough that I was able to get that son of a gun out. That's pretty awesome. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. I haven't even opened this up yet, so this is like a, it's like first for me. All right, here we go. God, I gotta get a better camera. I'm just using my phone. All right, so look at that, it just comes apart. And it looks like. All right, so. Turn this around gently. All right. So this here is the Bluetooth module, I guess, board. And I'm actually going to remove that and all of these buttons or things are supposed to plug in that you know what that would be awesome if I could just unplug those things in and plug them directly into that that would be cool in fact I wonder heck I might even be able to at least screw two of these down in there if that would be the case well no it looks a little wider anyhow that's where I'm at so I'm going to mess around and we'll be back. All right, so a couple hours later, what I've done is, okay, so let me turn this torch on. There we go. All right, so pulled the other board out. Lay this down gently. And I was, the, the board I ordered only came with five of these blue and white wires that run down, connect into here. So they were basically the blue and white ones that look like this. Came with a lot of these red ones. The problem is that was, the little clips on the end were too small to fit on those clips. So what I did was I put the five on five of the buttons, which left me three buttons left to work with. And I took three of these and the old wires that were on here. This is one of them clipped off. There was six of these, I think it was, or eight of these. Anyhow, um, I just clipped the ends off and then I, so basically you could see here, here's one and then I um, electrical taped it to one of, one of those. Like, I just wrapped them to one of those. And then I was able to plug that end into the board. So basically, really, the only thing I had to do was cut six wires and splice them together, which was pretty easy. So I just electrical taped them. Three pieces of electrical tape in there. That'll be fine. And um, 
everything else was pretty much plug and play. This is the battery. I don't need it because this board is powered by the USB, it looks like, which I did fire this up and test it, but for now. So I left this. I don't need it. I'm going to leave it in there just in case I want to... Who knows? I don't know why I would need it, but what the heck. <clears throat> and then... Um... What else? And then the LED here. This is the LED. There's a little... LED button on the front of this you can see see it right right there and when you used to power this up with the battery it would um, turn on so or it turn on when it made connection I get I don't know anyhow actually is there a switch on this thing no so anyhow, um, but what I'm going to need to do if I want that LED to work is this LED on the board lights up. So what I would have to do is cut this and solder it to the back of the board to that connection. And because, um, you know, I can't, I can't, I get, I can't see a, a power to plug it in, you know. So, anyhow, it's no big deal. Who needs a light? But it might be kind of cool. I've never soldered, so that's going to be my... One of these days, I'm going to pick me up a soldering iron and learn how to do that. And I will probably go ahead and try to do that to the back of that. So, anyhow, I went ahead. I left it... Una before I put it back together, I plugged in the USB here. Right there, plugged it in. Plugged it into my... Uh, main machine this little notebook here and it worked played some miss pac-man i checked all the buttons so now what i'm going to do is go ahead and this little hole right down here is where i want to put my usb cable through but it's just you can see it's just too wide so i'm gonna open that up a little bit and then, um, unless I can slide it through sideways, anyhow, and then I'm going to put my cable in there. So maybe I can slide it through sideways, kind of. Put this cable through, put it all back together, and give it a go. All right, I'll get all that done and show you the finished product. Well, all right, I, uh torch off. I finished this. Um, I took it apart the other night just to kind of tie up the, the cables inside, the wires, just to kind of make them look all right. Um, I didn't, I just, the little board is just kind of sitting in there snug up against something, so in between everything. And got the USB cord here. I have a little micro SD dongle deal on this. And let's just fire it up here real quick just to show you that it works. Um, let's use, uh, let's see, big box. I guess I need to plug it in here. Um, I think the only thing that I wish this had, and and I might, um, I wish this controller had like at least two more buttons. Um, but. And so I may purchase two, three, or four more of these buttons, and I was thinking I might be able to put possibly two back here, um, just for like an escape and start, or your coin buttons, or something like that. Um, not right now, we don't want to do that. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> but... 
But other than that, you know, it was a fun little project just to kind of to be able to do that. I would like to make myself a nice arcade stick, maybe one with two for two players and then a trackball in the middle like you see on the all well, the X arcade and there's an extension, another um another one of these called uh made by extension, but anyhow this here is a front end I'm using called Big Box, and it's pretty cool. I'm, I've had a couple issues trying to get a couple of these to map to, to this, you know, front end, I, but I'll figure it out. Anyhow, let's go into Arcade, and uh, just to goof around, I don't know. Let's do asteroids. And let's see the coin. I don't remember what the coin is. There we go. One player right there. Where's my thrust? And I probably haven't configured this yet. All right, so there's that to thrust. There's a shoot. And I probably, so you can see I'm not using, there's no hyper space, so what I need to do, for now I have my keyboard here, I have to kind of mess around to, to do some of this stuff, but anyhow, at least I know it works, now it's just a matter of configuring the buttons within the, uh, there you go, within, you know, the menu, so, all right. That's all I got. Smell y'all later.